welcome to Essential 123 QuickBooks Tutorials. My name is Jamie Hudson. I'm a certified QuickBooks Advanced Pro Advisor and owner of Essential123.com. We hope you enjoy today's tutorial and visit us at Essential123.com often as we do update our tutorials regularly. Thank you. Hello again. For today's tutorial, I see that my favorite client, John, has come into my office to ask me a question. So John, what's your question? Well, I'm a consultant who tracks mileage for jobs and then bills my customer for that mileage. Can I do that in QuickBooks? Well, yes, John, you can. But there is a bit of setup work that we need to do in order for you to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the gray menu bar and we're going to go to Company. And there is a built-in feature right in QuickBooks so that we can do that very thing. We want to go to Enter Vehicle Mileage. Now from this window here, we can see everything that we need to do to set up to track vehicles and their mileage. So we're going to click on the vehicle list. And the sample company file that I'm working with today has three vehicles already set up on there. But we want to add a new vehicle. So we're going to go down to that lower left-hand side and we're going to click Vehicle. And we're going to say New. And it's just as simple as setting up a description. So we're going to set up our car in there. And if we had any additional description that we wanted to put in there, if we had more than one Camry in here, we can put in the color, the license plate number, something like that. Then we can go ahead and say OK. Now our vehicle is on our list here. And then we can close this window to get back to our Enter Vehicle Mileage window. We also want to set up mileage rates, which is our next button next to our vehicle list. Now note, this my vehicle mileage rate is um, not for billing your customers, it's for tracking your expenses based on the IRS regulations and it'll help you kind of figure out the cost of using your vehicle based on the mileage. So to enter a new vehicle mileage, we just want to click right below there and we're going to say a new date and we're going to put in a new vehicle mileage. Now this is really handy if the IRS decides to change rates mid-year, which they have done in the past and probably will do again in the future. And it will track vehicle mileage from, let's say, this last date here at the top of the screen until we enter a new date. And it'll automatically do that in QuickBooks. For instance, on 12-16, it'll transfer over to tracking the vehicle mileage expense at 55 cents per mile. So once we've entered in our mileage rates, we're going to say close. Now we can actually enter in how we're going to bill our customer. So we want to choose a vehicle. We want to enter the date in. We're going to say 1216 as our date. And we're going to actually put in the odometer start and end date here because then it'll give us a calculation of the total mileage or we can actually just skip right over that and put in the total mileage. Either way we can say 150 miles or we can put in our odometer start and our odometer end and it will automatically calculate our vehicle mileage for us. Now to bill a customer for this mileage we want to choose from our drop down of customer job our customer that we're billing. We want to make sure that the billable box is checked on there and then we want to choose an item of how we're going to bill our customer. When we click the drop down notice we only have the options on our item list as a service or other charge type of an item. Those are the only types that we can use in this vehicle mileage. Now we don't already have a mileage set up here on our list so we want to click add new and we can add an item to our items list right from this window. We want to make sure that it says service and we're going to call it mileage. It is a non-taxable item type and we want to choose a rate. We're going to bill our customers at 65 cents a mile. And then, of course, we have to choose our income account. Uh, most accounts you're going to use is something like reimbursed income or reimbursable mileage. Our sample company file has mileage income, and that's what we're going to choose. We're going to say OK. And then, if we're using class tracking, we also want to make sure that we put that in here. And if there's any notes, we can say traveled to our job site and back to office. And that note will actually show up on our invoice when we create our invoice for our customer. So we can go ahead and say save and close. And of course, our wonderful spell check. We do want to make sure we spell things correctly. 
So once we've added in our vehicle, our expense rates, and the items that we're going to choose to bill our customer, and of course the vehicle odometer readings or mileage amounts, we want to actually go in and then bill our customer for that. Now to do that, we're going to go in and we're going to create an invoice just like we would normally. From our drop-down menu, we're going to choose our customer. And then we get our billable time and cost window, and it's asking us if we want to add outstanding billable time or cost. Remember that billable button that we checked back in that enter vehicle mileage window? That's why this window is coming up here. So yes, we want to select the outstanding billable time and cost for this invoice. And we want to say, if we always want to do that, we can always check the box that says save this preference. Then we can say OK. And then our billable time and cost window comes up. And we want to click on our mileage tab. Now there's our mileage. It shows us the date that we, that we put in, uh, the miles that we drove, and our rate. So we can check that off. And we want to say OK. Now we have our invoice here. 100 miles at 65 cents a mile gives us $65. Again, it's non-taxable. And then, of course, if we want to add other items here, say blueprint charges or anything else, we can always add that in addition. So that's billing our customers for our mileage and tracking our mileage. So once we say OK, we can save and close that. And we want to make sure that we look at our reports for our vehicle mileage. So if we go back to company and enter vehicle mileage, we've got a couple of different reports that we can pull up. Alternatively, you could go to the reports menu and go to job times and mileage, and we also have those same reports here. So our mileage reports, we can choose mileage by vehicle summary, and this shows us the miles driven, and then this is the expense, the mileage expense. That's based on that IRS rate that we put in the window in our enter vehicle mileage window. Now we can also choose reports by job. So if we say mileage by job summary, we can see how much we're billing out for each job. Now notice, I'm going to change our date range in here to include the one that we just did for Robert here. Now this is the billable amount. That's not that IRS amount rate. That's based on what we chose when we created our invoice for our billable amount so we can see our mileage income. We can see what we've billed out to date is $480.83 and we can compare that on our mileage report for what on our mileage by vehicle summary to what it's actually costing us based on that mileage rate. It's actually costing us a little bit more than we are billing out. So we might want to look at those two reports to see if we're charging the correct mileage for our customers and getting reimbursed for the correct mileage. Now not all mileage is going to be billed out to a customer, which would explain a difference like that, but it is a good report to look at to make sure you are getting the correct reimbursement from your customers. And that is tracking vehicle mileage. Thank you for watching. We hope you found our tutorial useful and informative. Your feedback and comments are welcome. Please send us a note to the email address that you see on your screen. And just to let you know, we do offer live seminars, remote login assistance, video conference, group training, one-on-one -on -one instruction, and so much more. For more information about these services, visit Essential123.com. Thank you.